Oh my god, now your sister, Camilla. Oh, you're gonna love old Sven now. Look at him run. Look at him go. Sven came back a mighty warrior, and we have delivered the fantastic treasure. Oh, what's that, Lucan? What's that? Oh my god, it's happened again! That's right. This time, it's Sven who's the object of desire. Who will win? Will Camilla Valerius? Oh, or will Lucan now? Hurry. Oh my god, Lucan, he's now... He looks into Sven's Show eyes. My I god, man. You look like the man who brought back my cool <laughs> claw. I, I need to fuck you. When we had last left, the prisoner bound by prophecy, they had journeyed on to Bleak Falls Barrow in search of the missing golden claw dragon, golden dragon claw <laughs> that had gone missing from the local Riverwood trader. It was at the behest of one Lucan Valerius and his sister Camilla. They went there alongside their faithful partner, Sven. <laughs> in search of the fantastic treasure. But there, inside, there were terror terrors to be beheld. <laughs> Freezing temperatures, wretched skeevers, gigantic spiders, and the undead themselves awoke. But none of it could compare to the terrible power of Arvel the Swift, a little shitty fetcher that was quickly dispatched by one of the dungeon's own booby traps. Now all that remained was to delve just a little bit deeper into Bleak Falls Barrow and return the Golden Dragon Claw to Riverwood. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Let's zoom on back in there. Let's see. Hey, Sven. What's up? I'm right behind you. Okay. It's time for us to part. Oh, nope. Never mind. We just press Let's tab. Let's going then. There we are. Okay. So we've already turned off this shit, right? But up here, we've got some sneaky, sneaky stuff, right? Little bit of sneaky stuff up here. Let's see, like this fucking guy. Uh-oh. Is he going to straight up awaken? Oh, shit. <laughs> Sven is just fucking going for it. Okay, let's see. If we actually get our flames here at the ready... Sven? Pull back, pull back, Sven. Pull back. I'm going to engage the trap. Trap engaged. What are you doing? I'm killing him. This is the point. You fall oh. down and bleed to death. <laughs> Careful, Sven. What's Sven's health? Oh, he must be at full, right? His health did not show up. All right. Let's see here. Anything else around? I think we're fine. See, the useful thing about this magic and stuff is, holy shit, we can just use it in place of a bow. It's so useful, right? magic, as it turns out. Very useful. <laughs> Good lord. I remember when this first came out, I was so just taken aback by the all new sorts of magic, like this streamable, uh, like flamethrower hands. What's it called? In, uh, <laughs> in the olden times, it was like, fire hands. Was that it? Was it fire hands? I'm not sure. It may have been fire hands. Alright. Come over here, you foul ah! bastard. Do Boom! It. Oh shit! Oh my god, I was killed in one shot. <laughs> Holy fuck. Well, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't go according to plan. Oh, fuck me, Sven. This ain't great. Alright, you know what? <laughs> Let's bring back out the magic here. Here we are. Maybe we don't fuck around this time, right? Let's just unload on this bastard. There we go. Watch it. Good. Careful, Sven. Sven, pull him over here! Pull him over, Sven! What are you doing? Jesus, Sven, you're not even on fire anymore. Come on, take it easy, pal. Let's see. Let's get this actually favorited, right? There we go. Shield. Okay. This is the end for you! There we are. Good shit. Cool. Alright. Whew! And no others have woken up yet. Good, good, good. Okay, Sven. Secret stealth time. Now, if we actually fire this off right now, will it inflame this dude? Let's see. Because that dude just straight up one-shot me. Go! 
I think it's working. Sven, I think it's working. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did one awake from behind? Was that what I heard? Let's see. Careful there, Sven. Coming in for the crowd control. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, Sven. Oh, my God. Sven, we need some, like, AoE or something. Oh, fuck. Oh, dear God. Sven, this ain't good. Here we go. Ooh, fuck. Whew. How long does it take for Stam to come back? All right. There we go. Let's get the flames on. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Shit. Oh my god, this could be it for me, dude. All right. Let's get some healing. There we go. So we're one shot proof. Shit, I missed him. Like a complete dangus. There we are. Good job, Sven. Holding down the fort back there. Oh, fuck. All right, Sven. My ultimate plan. Did I activate it? Nope, I didn't. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, shit. Sven is back. Sven is back to slay. Oh, shit. He fucked me big time. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we double teamed him. Good job, Sven. All right. <laughs> I totally missed this uh, chain. I was going to try and activate it and run through real quick. All right. You know what? Hey, that wasn't so bad. Let's see here. Heal on up. Good. All right. Yeah, look, got our restoration up even. Take a look at all this. Gosh, the dual wielding stuff is so fun, right? My god, if only dual wielding weapons was more effective in like the early game, right? But it's more of um, just a way of increasing your DPS, right? Toward, toward the end game. As you build out the perks and all that to increase your attack speed and shit. I think there's some dual wield armor sets, right? Let's see. Let's top ourselves off. Quick save. Let's get the shield out. Good. All right. Any of these lootables? Lootable lootables? Lootable lootables? Lootable lootables? I don't think so. No. All right. Oh, God. Are we about to encounter the big boss now? Let's see. Nope, still a little bit more, it seems, right? Okay. Sven, you ready? Hell yeah, he's ready. Okay. Oh, shit, is this where they start to come out of shit? Oh, yes, it is. All right. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we are. Holy shit. Whew. Okay, let's get some more healing going here. Double hands, baby. There we are. Yes, man, I bet you wish you could do this. All right, you know what? It's high time that we <laughs> bind our, our weapons here. Let's see. Great. Oop, whoops. Now, how does this, this shit work, actually? If I, like, hmm... Let's experiment with this. So I've now got this shit set up. This is my current, currently wielded items, right? So if I press, click on this, what is this? So if I press one now, is that going to do that? No, I have no idea what toggle focus means. I did not read the tutorial for this. Let's see here. F group. Oh, I see. Okay. And then select. Good. And then F group. Good. Okay. Confirm. All right. So now if I go both hands this and I press one, I press one. Nope. <laughs> okay. There's no hotkeys, it seems, right? Maybe it's just to go here and click. Huh. Save equip state. Maybe that's what I want. Here we are. Okay. 
And let's see. Toggle focus. Group use? Oh, okay, there we are. But how come it's not a hotkey, I wonder? Do I have to change that under my settings here? Controls, maybe? Let's see. No, I do not. Weird. Okay. Hmm. Mod configuration, Sky UI. Let's see, controls. Group, oh, there we are. Okay, and your number keys are not... This key is already mapped to hotkey one. For what? No. Huh. For what, though? What? How do you hotkey something, then? Hmm. Yes, man, I don't fucking know, dude. You know what? This is maybe something I need to look up. <laughs> at some point. What are hotkeys even a part of? Let's see. System... Customizable camera? No, it wouldn't be that. It would be Sky UI, wouldn't it? Controls... Hotkeys. Advanced, maybe? Nope. Weird. Because it recognizes that hotkeys seem to exist in some function. Maybe if I bring this up and then I press 1? Oh, I see. Okay, I gotcha. Good. But how does it decide which hand to put my shit in? Right? So, like, if I go, like, oh, two. Huh. How's it know? That's wild. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Let's see. Let's go on back to this. Search the Draugr. I think we've just figured it out. But I'll need to decide if I want that to be, like, an equipable, which probably I do. Right? Probably I want that to be, like, healing or whatever. Or some sort of specific potion. Here, Sven, you want some of this iron armor? Nah. Probably not. He does not prefer heavy ar Still here. Heavy shit, does he? Let's what do you see, want? Trade me to carry? some stuff. How about this dude? Do you want some of this iron? Oh shit, he does. He loves it. Let's get going then. Or maybe he just prefers it because it gives him more. Which maybe is inherently why he prefers it. Right? Okay. Like, he prefers it because he's just more skilled in it. Hmm. I don't know. Sven is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Let's go over here. Oh, shit. We are a little bit hungry. Let's sate that real quick. How about... Cabbage or potato soup, I'm thinking. Could also just eat some apples. Right? Maybe we go with that. Here we are. Satisfied. Wow, already? Okay. I thought there would be, like, a phase of it where there is no update. Okay. Sure, let's eat these apples. There. Now we're well fed. Do a quick save. Alright. Ooh, look. Some shroomages. First of many. Oh, look. A troll skull. Makes it seem as though there would be a troll here, but... I don't believe there is. Okay. And over this way. Isn't there, like, unique dialogue if you don't do this quest until later? Right? Isn't there something weird and unique that happens if you wait until... at some point in the main quest to do the rest... to go retrieve the... the stone or whatever you get here at the end, the bonus item? Let's see. The thing that's actually very important... Alright, now in here... Yeah, there's this dude. Oh shit, oh he saw me. <laughs> Sven, he saw me. <laughs> okay. Let's go after him then. Do a quick save just in case. Alright. There you are. Oh, oh shit. Oh, there we go. Get him. Whew, fuck. Good shit, Sven. Alright. Let's see. Amethyst. Ooh, Amulet of Zenithar. Prices are 10% better. Oh, I mean, it's better than nothing right now, which is what we're using. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. What's this eyeball icon? That it has some sort of fortification buff or whatever? 
Maybe. My best guess. Good lord, it's valuable as hell, though. Okay. Let's see. Let's also get this active. Here we are. There seems to be some sort of delay. If I, I can't just, like, instantly hover over it. Right? I'm not sure. And just slam down both mouse buttons at the same time. Maybe that counts as a separate input? Left and right mouse button? Simultaneous? Maybe. Okay. Now, forget which way you're meant to go here. I think you're meant to go down, right? Or no, it doesn't look like it, does it? Ooh, let's see. No, yeah, down here is a secret something or the other. A skeever. A secret skeever. Alright. What do we have over here? Just a whole bunch of... whooshy mist. A skeletal dude with a bit of money. Something to pick into. There we go. Good. Hide boots. Eh, we'll take it. Alright. Why not? And we cannot pass through that. Alright, that's fine. Anything else down here? It's like just sort of around? Yeah, a lot of people fell down this little crevice and died. Alright. Head on up. I wonder if these people also had the claw. Or maybe they just got lucky. Oh wow, careful. Red skeleton. They're the toughest ones. They come back after you kill them. <laughs> There's not secret stuff up here, is there? I've never actually climbed up this. Or even tried to. I don't know if you even can? Yo, can you? Oh my god, can you- Whoa, look at me! Is there actually something up here? Oh my god, Sven, look at this. I've discovered the ultimate secret. Oh no, this just goes back to our... Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, unless there's something inside of that log right there. Is there something, like, in it? Hidden ring? Nope, no hidden rings. Fair enough. Got some antler there. There we go. Kick it right off. Whew. All right, let's do a quick save there, and head on forward. I'm assuming Sven will... yeah. He's materialized himself. Perfect. Love to see it. Grab some more shroomages. Should we eat some raw shroomage? I'm thinking we should. Here we are. Let's see. What all do we need to eat still? Hmm. Yeah, the shroomage. There we go. Salt pile. Ugh. Troll fat? Eh, why not? Oh, God. Oh, that sounds terrible, but it is a boon. <laughs> it's just a shock one. Okay. Up here. Let's see. We've got some linen wraps. Good. All right. And I think there is one power dude in here. Right? Yeah, there he is. The power dude. All right. Sven, are you ready for this shit? We're gonna try and sneak up on him. Uh-oh. Sven, I don't think it's gonna work. Uh-oh. I'm gonna try and hit him around the corner, Sven. I'm gonna hit him around the corner. Oh, I did it! Oh, fuck! Oh, he hit me too, Sven. For a lot more. All right. Crowd control, baby! Gods. No. It's okay, Sven. Hang in there, man! There we are. I can take you. Ooh, interrupted. Careful, Sven. Keep that blocking arm strong. Hey, be careful. Shit, man, I thought I got him. Ooh. Oh, good shit. Oh, good job, Sven. Holy hell. Another tough encounter. <laughs> That's been like all of them. <laughs> all right. Further we go. Ooh. The big antechamber. <laughs> but they get even bigger than this, don't they? Now look, an apprentice lock. There we are. Uh, easy enough. Potion of alteration. Hmm. I'll take it. Okay. So let's see, I'm gonna try and... Yeah. You have to... You have to not do them simultaneous. There we go. And then... Great. Love it. Let's head on over this way. Right? Doesn't seem like there's any goodies up in here, right? 
No, no, no. Oh, man. Wild to believe that this is the same engine, or not the same engine, but the same console generation as Oblivion. How much more detail they were able to just even render in the in every section of the dungeons, right? Just the polygon count alone. Like, obviously, you know, the textures are probably a bit higher, the lighting is a bit higher thanks to the special edition, but just the amount of, I don't know, polygons and just the general art direction. Gosh, they've come so far. They've come so fucking far, man. All right, here we go. Let's see. Is there a sneaky dude up in here? Aside from us, Sven. <laughs> nope, nothing. Now, you can't light these, right? With your own fire? I'm not mistaken in that. Let's see. Flames. Let's give it a shot. No. Yeah, this ain't some Breath of the Wild situation. <laughs> we light three of them and get a little secret. Yaha, friend! There we are. By the way, man, Breath of the Wild. Just evidence that Skyrim is such a wildly fucking important, so probably one of the most important games of that generation, right? It has to be, because so many games, like after Skyrim came out, uh, tried to go for something similar uh, to either varying degrees of success or failure, right? I mean, shit, when Far Cry 3 came out, its whole, like, selling point made by a completely different company, Skyrim with guns, right? And Breath of the Wild, a lot of people say that it probably wouldn't even exist in the form that it does, I I like this for better going. or worse, right? Some people don't like it, but shit, I fucking love it. <laughs> but it wouldn't exist without the groundwork laid by Skyrim and its massive popularity. Fuck, we gotta run through this. All right. Oh, there we go. Sven, I hope you're okay. Uh-oh. Sven, I really hope you're okay. <laughs> Let's get him! There we go. If we can just burn this dude down, it'll be good. Okay, is he gonna come over here? Let's try and get a Ray Zombo. Whoop. Okay. Here we are. Do a quick save. And... He ain't standing on it yet. Right? Look, they're going after each other. Okay, here we are. Sven, brace for impact! Burn, you hellish fiend! There we are. Man, ours is powerful as hell. Shit. Good stuff. Look at that. Expertly executed. Let's get our steel shield back at the ready. What do we have here? Some soul gem holders, right? I believe, didn't these show up in Oblivion? Though maybe they didn't look quite so immaculate, right? But I think some of these, like, soul gem holders showed up in Oblivion in some points. Potion of Resist Cold. Okay. Anything else around here? Let's do a quick save. Too bad that Resist Cold doesn't affect our warmth, right? Let's just double check that. Nah, frost damage purely. Dude, is frost damage going to also lower our health? Is it going to chill me? Oh my god. That would be horrific. Good lord, I hope not. <laughs> oh, we need to prepare for the worst. Jesus. Some fucking frost wizards. Oh my god, could you imagine when we fight the frost dragons? Oh dear god. It's gonna be a real ass situation. Alright. We still have a lot more booby traps at the ready for us to deploy, right? Let's see. Are there any more dudes, though, that we need to booby trap deploy on? That we should deploy the booby upon? I'm not sure. Ready yourself, Sven. I'm prepared to pull out the titty. I'm gonna whip it out. Alright. Here we go. Anything here? No, there ain't no dudes, Sven. Can we turn that thing off? Oh yeah, there's the switch. You know what? Just for the sake of completion, let's hit that switch. Pew! Look at me, Sven! I did it! Bottomless, freaky pit. One that no man, mare, or beast should enter. Alright. 
It seems insulting to refer to them as beast, right? Do they do they have their own term that's less like fucking insulting? Because it puts them on like there are still beasts, right? It's not like some sort of animal crossing situation where it's like, oh yeah, you're an animal, right? <laughs> I mean, of course, humans also animal, but you know, <laughs> you're you're a you're a fun cat. You're a cute little kitty cat. But in the world of Animal Crossing, ki kitty cats are like sentient beings that can speak to you and everything, right? I don't know. Oh look, this actually is not. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Sven, are you ready to see this? Oh my God, riddle me this, Sven. I'm about to show you that I'm the fucking Batman. Oh God, look. Man, this looks even better this time around with the special... Special edition, huh? I remember when it first came out. Either, maybe it was... I'm not sure. Maybe they looked the same and it was that my computer was way worse. <laughs> Fuck, when Skyrim came out, I did not have a 16x9, right? Monitor. I was running a fucking 4x9 or whatever it was, right? 4x... I think 4x9, right? Either way, I was not in fucking HD. I don't believe I was. I had a square-ass monitor. Look at that. Wow. Ew, look, he's got, like, birds on his stabs. <laughs> he's got a couple of birds up there. He's dual-wielding. What about you? No! Moths are flying out of my hands. And these people are here saying, We love them! <laughs> what about you? You're also the moth person. Does this correspond, actually, to what we're about to see on the claw? Oh, look. It looks like a boss from Doom. <laughs> okay. Over here? Oh, my God. And this one. The Ring of Fire. <gasps> what am I good? All right. Let's see. Let's solve the puzzle. Man, the first time I did this, I felt like the smartest man in the fucking world. Didn't even have to look it up. Oh, shit. How do I examine it? Do I just... Oh, I just... Oh, here we go. Oh, scroll wheel. Okay. Bear, moth, owl? Yeah. Bear, moth, owl. Bear, moth, owl. There we go. Bear, moth, owl. Great. Okay, let's eat something real quick before we go in here and face down the ultimate dude. All right, quick save, just as well. Shove that in there. How does it work? Magic. Awesome. Man, I'd love to see some of the... I'd love to see if they, they would never, but if they somehow ever did a Morrowind remake, I'd love to see like some of the cool puzzles and stuff in a Vardenfell, like, Ash Tomb or whatever, right? Because, of course, Dunmer also have massive, elaborate places of burial, right? They pay a lot of heed to answers. And if anything, they would be the greatest, right? Because they have the, the highest reverence for ancestors. They have the whole ancestor worship thing. All right. Ooh. Oh, my God! Cliff racers! <laughs> Let's see, over here? Oh, look. Is this... Oh, yeah. Now, some folks let me know. I totally, completely forgot about this. And in fact, I will readily admit it. Oh, shit, I don't have it with me. Sven, I hope you do. Still here. Let's see. Sven, please have it. <laughs> what do you want me to carry? I don't want you to carry anything. I want you to hand over... Oh, yeah, the pickaxe, baby. There we go. Let's get going. But... It took me forever in the base game, I recall, to figure out that you could even do this. Look, you can mine it by just smacking. There we are. I think we got it all. Yep, depleted. Good. All right, Sven, take some of this. Still here. There we go. Trade some things, and I want you to take back the. Whoops. Swap that around. There we go, and take back this. Or Good. Good, good, good. Okay. And let us equip our axe again. Are there others in here? I'm not sure. I don't remember this one being particularly rich with 
ore veins. Maybe I'm just a dumbass, though. I mean, it totally was. I don't think so, though. Alright. Well, at least I don't think I was a dumbass in this case. <laughs> just this one time. Alright. Right near the very ominous... Oh my god, look at that. Oh! It's so wild to see this! I mean, obviously, this is a very special... The special first dungeon. But to compare this with some of the dungeon design of Oblivion, holy By shit. Nine. I know, that's what I'm saying, dude. Oh my goodness. You know, after we've done every single dungeon <laughs> in Oblivion, holy hell. Granted, some of the dungeons in Oblivion, really good, right? Just as they were in Morrowind. Some of the really important Morrowind dungeons, really good looking. Oh, do we do this first? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my god! What? The power! The screen power! Alright. Huh. Good. Alright. Is this thing gonna- yep, there we go. Alright, Sven, hurry! Start DPS! More dots! More dots, Sven! Crowd control enabled! Yeah! No! Oh, jeez, Pete. All right, let us eat a soup. Right? Should we eat a soup, or no? Let's apply a poison, maybe. I don't know. We might be able to get through this guy without applying poisons and stuff. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be fucking tough. Oh shit! I'm about to fucking die here. Get him, Sven! Uh-oh. Oh, Ooh, geez. Uh-oh. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Fuck. All right. We'll have to quick save right after we get the word, right? Whew. Right up here. And then, let's get it. Oh! Do you think it's going into my eyes or going into my mouth? This whooshy stuff. I'm eating words! Alright. Let's go over here. Good. Good shit, man. There we are. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude. All right, <laughs> let's try. Ooh, let's eat some food, right? Let's put on some poison as well. Or not even eat food. Let's let's get some of this shit going. This. This is the yeah. Ooh, it resisted it. Uh oh. Here we go. Jesus, it's loud. Come on, Sven. Keep tanking for me, friend. I can take it. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it, man. We're getting it. There we are. How can they skip words, though? Right? It doesn't... It skips over the foos. Okay. Good. Good shit, Sven. Look, we fucking did it, huh? We killed the Super Overlord! What have you got? An ancient Nord Sword of Frost. Huh. Let's see. What does our current weapon do? 13 damage, but no enchant on it, right? Oh, we need that, don't we? Okay. Let us equip that shit. And we'll take this unit here. There we are. And we'll take that just as well. Here, Sven. Still here trade some stuff with you. What do you want me to carry? Here you go. How about you take this cool and fun axe? There you go. And you can also take a shield at the same time. Oh, look, I'm using <laughs> accidentally equip the iron shield. There we go. Great. Okay. And, oh wait, I should take his... What do you his, want me to carry? I should take his battle axe, shouldn't I? 
so he'll stop using it. What's the value to wait? Five. It's butts. There we go. Ooh. I'm tired. Fair enough. Okay. Let's drop that on the ground. And then... Let's equip this here. And we can also bind this as a favorite. There we go. Oops. There it is. Okay. Oh, neat. Alright. I wonder if the frost damage does inflict health drain on them. Or health damage. I'm not sure. Probably not, I'd assume. Now, is this thing booby-trapped and rigged? Nope. What have we got inside? Ooh, a flawless garnet, 50 Gs, a hide shield. Leather helmet of minor archery. Huh. Ring of minor magicka, let's equip that. What does my current hat do? Does my current hat actually do something? No. 17 armor... ...versus 13. I mean, I don't even use bows, really. Hmm. If anything, Sven should probably take it. Here, dude. I'm right behind you. Let's see. Trade some stuff. What do you want me to carry? Here we go. Give me your hat. And give me your boots as well. In fact, give me that shit too. <laughs> Just give me all that. There you go. Great. Let's now you'll do extra there. bow damage. Okay. Cool. Anything else in this chest? Yeah, hide shield. Should I take it? Eh, weight of four. Yeah, it's pretty bad. No thank you. Alright, let's do a quick save here. And then we'll have to <laughs> run out and brave the fucking cold. <laughs> and there's also a few banditos out there, right? Ooh. It's gonna be a rough one. Alright, let's see... Anything else around here? Hmm. I don't think there is, right? If there is, it's just like, oh shit, there is! Oh my god! Well, holy shit. And a steel battle axe as well. A weak poison. Okay. Cool! Great! I love it! Let's see, anything else? Anything down here? Oop, getting hungry again. Fine, though. Anything down here? Like foods or secret loot loots? Something hidden behind a waterfall? Nope. Nothing. Alright. Fair enough. Let's head on up here. There we are. It's wild, because even just being peckish... Look at this. It decreases... Yeah, we're 30% less effective with shields and 30% slower with uh, weapon attacks. Holy hell. Like, the total stamina drain is like nothing. But just being a little bit hungry makes us slow as hell. Look at this. We're noticeably slower. Alright. Let's go on up here. Oh man, look at the back of them. Yeah, there's more loot loot behind it. Holy shit. Man, you know what? I don't know if I've ever found this one. It's even locked. The other one, sure. That seems likely. Find that on the way out. Holy shit, look at all this stuff. I'm yoinking it all. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sven? I have a problem. Let's see. Let's eat some food, I guess. What should we have? A tomato? Maybe? Or some veg soup? Hmm. Maybe we just have cabbage soup. There we go. Good. Uh-oh. This is a secret trap. Alright, no wonder Sven isn't here. He foresaw it. Okay. There's nothing under this, right? This is a rock. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's head on out back to Lucan and company. Okay. Whew. Jeez, Bleak Falls Barrow. Tough as hell. Head on up and out. Good, good, good. Take our little fun secret cool exit. Oh, I love this. Alright. 
What else do we have? Anything over here? Nope. Oh, shit. More woot loot! Holy hell. Look at this, Sven. Oh my gosh, we get flowers. Wonderful. Alright, here, Sven. I'm actually gonna need you to take some more shit. I've got your back. Let's see, let's trade some things. What do you want me to carry? A whole bunch of shit, dude. Let's see. How about... A silver ingot. And... Let's see. Take this hide shit, right? Yeah. There we go. Cool. Lead on. Oh, look. He's wearing different pants now. Oh, it's because of the iron armor. Gotcha. All right. 57 quad loose. Not half bad. All right. Let's head on out. Is it still nighttime? Or maybe it's raining. In general, food that has been cooked has much more... Restores much more hunger than uncooked food. Yeah. I wonder if there's ones that don't do that. Or maybe there's recipes that don't fill you up. Now look, potion of the night. What the hell was that doing there? Weird. Okay, let's put on our fur stuff, right? So we can move around without getting completely destroyed by the cold. All right, Sven. It's looking pretty good. Let's head on down here, I think. It's, it's probably going to be warm right here, right? Oh, fuck. Whew. Sven, we're becoming one with the mountain. All right. Over here. Let's see... Are there some, like, wolves out here? There's a fox. Isn't... Aren't one of these, like, ore? Maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping balls. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, here we go. Corundum ore. Okay. Let's get some of this mined up. Oh, shit. Sven, I gave you the... the pick? I've got your back. Let's see, let's trade shit. What do you want me to carry? Here we go. And... Let's see, I want the pickaxe. There we are. And you can actually take... You want to take this thing? It weighs two units. There you go. Alright. Let's equip our pick. Good. Alright. Great. Yeah, every third hit is what I've been told. Good. Cool, cool. Alright. Let's check up top here. Anything? No. Let's peek around. Any more ore before we unequip this situation? Because it seems like we're relatively safe out here, right? How close are we to, like, the center of this lake? Not too far off. We could grab the other stone while we're out here if we want. But I'm not sure if we do, because isn't it useless now? Isn't the health part useless on this difficulty? Because they're, or with survival turned on or whatever? I'm not sure, because we don't get health regen now. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Any other ore before we stow it? This could be some. What's this? Nope, just some peculiar looking rocks. Fair enough. Anything else? No, I think we're good. At least up this high. Could be more down lower. Let's see. Got our level up available, just as well. Good. Alright. Is it actually colder at night? Or are we about to enter a warmer area? No, dude. I think it's colder at night. Huh. Wow. That is wild. Okay. But yeah, look. See? The stone is already showing up on the dude dar out here. I'm not sure if it's worth us trekking all the way out there, especially when we're so nearly encumbered. Maybe we can hit it up on our way to Falkreath, or Falkreath, whenever we go over there. Huh. Slaughterfish Egg Nest. Mmm. Neat. 
Sven, don't fuck with those fish. All right, over here. If anything, we can hit up the witch's super zone, right? Yeah, look. Our little cabin has shown up already. Okay. Let us equip our good weapon. Great. Anything else here? No, doesn't seem like it. Cool. Oh, man. I love this. Let's see. Oh, and there's a little hunter zone. I think we went by that. Yeah, because there's the standing stones and stuff. Good, good, good. Actually, we need to eat some of those flowers we looted, don't we? Let's see. Which ones do we still have yet to... Nope, salt pile. Oh, maybe not. I thought, yeah. I guess we already ate purple and red. Fair enough. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. There we go. Fuck him up. Good. Okay. Grab this. These pelts. We need this. Work on our smithing. Still here. Very important. What do you All want of our me to trade carry? skills, right? Okay. Now, I would like to deposit all this ore, as well as these wolf pelts. Good. All right. You lead. I'll follow. Let's do a quick save here, just in case we get accosted by a bunch more. Another wild pack. Okay, we are still in the frosty zone, aren't we? Fortunately, we have our fur armor keeping us a little safe. Okay, anything else over here? I think steel, actually, is heavy armor that's good for a look. Ah, I think steel is heavy armor that's good for a cold. Alright, let's actually just favorite the pick, right? Because we're using it enough to justify it, I think. Over here. Cool. Got a garnet that time. Nice. Alright. And then, pull out our ancient Nord sword. Very cool. Too cool, in fact. Alright. Over here. Sven, I think we did a great fucking job. Holy hell. Jeez, if Camilla doesn't want to just instantly marry and bang you at the same time, well, I don't know what the fuck will work. There we are. And let's go through this. In a way, you know what? Think of this, Sven, as just improving your future dowry. <laughs> Check this out. We've got a big old chop tree. Oh, there it is. The ominous cabin. I thought I saw a butterfly flutter by, but no. Okay, cool. Continue this way. We could nap with that hunter, or whatever, right? Warm up next to their little fire. Be pretty good. But first, let's check out this creepy cabin. Be careful! Oh shit! Sven actually reacts to me just like ramming speeding him. <laughs> All right. Here we are. Do a quick save here. Anissa's cabin. Knock, knock. Oh, she's here. What's up? I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. It's tough just scraping by out here, but I make do. Huh. I get so lonely out here. Oh. It's so nice to have a visitor. It's so nice to have a visitor. You know it's suspicious because you can't actually talk to her. Song of the Alchemists. Ooh, her secret cellar. All right. I forget. How are you meant to do it? <laughs> are we just supposed to have at her? Are we just supposed to murder this old woman? Let's see. Ruined book. Is there something in her satchel? No, I can't remember. In her dresser, maybe? No, maybe we're just meant to go down here into her secret cellar. Gosh, she sleeps right next to her poop bucket. <laughs> oh no, Grandma's poop bucket. Go inside. There we go. Gosh, imagine if you rolled off the side of your bed accidentally. 
Just get a nice big face full of poop bucket. Oh my god, look at all this. You know, ultimately, it's not so bad that she's like some kind of witch of the wilds or whatever. Like, you <laughs> you ultimately do end up with way worse people, right? Let's see. All right. Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come, live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven, and your training will truly begin. Oh my god. What the fuck? We've read her secret message. All right, let's do a quick save here. Because I don't think she'll be all too happy about that. <laughs> all right, anything else here before we... Yeah, let's head on up. I mean, shit, we've read books about there being, like, charitable witches and stuff. Okay. It's a fool. Oh. Ah! Oh, yeah, you got fire magic? <laughs> That's my special ability, is eating fire magic, you fool! Oh, there we go. Get her, Sven, get her, get her, get her, get her. Whew. There we are. Man, easiest opponent yet. <laughs> Great. All right. Dope, dope, dope. Let's see here. Here's Sven. Do you want to take all of her shit? Because I'm thinking we probably should, especially the robes. Look at this. Oh my god, look at Grandma's hot bod. Jesus. I mean, her head. <sighs> but her bod. Whoa. <laughs> I've got your back. Let's see here. What do you want me to kill? Just a fact of life in. <laughs> on Nern. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. I need to make a deposit here, friendo. Let's see. He's not going to equip this shit if I give it to him, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should be careful with that. Here, just hold on to a bunch of cabbage soup, dude. How much does this weigh? 0.5 each? There you go. Hold on to that. And then, hold on to this iron ore just as well. You know what? That ought to do it for now. Sven, I think you're good. Lead on. Alright. Anything else here? Mountain flower. It's a red one. Potato plant. Another potato plant. A shovel. All right, bunch of leeks as well. She has her own little nice garden. If you wait here, her her friends don't show up, do they? I'm not sure. Maybe we should we should rest here. Why the hell not? Right? Yeah, let's. We need a nap anyhow. Let's rest for eight hours. Let's see if they show up. Okay. Let's see. Eight hours. There we are. Look, it's a free bed. Why not? Look, Sven. This is called just being resourceful. There we go. Oh shit, and we got a level as well. Okay. I think we go for... Probably get some more stamina. Maybe we get that up to 150. Maybe some more health, though. Because that's really going to help us with in dealing with the frost in the early game. The freeziness. Because you can respect this later, right? I'm fairly certain you can respect this later via Dragonborn DLC, right? Yeah. So let's get stamina up. I wish it would tell me how many levels I've banked. Alright. There we go. Good. Okay, I'll take it. Whew, we have three perks. Should we yoink up some alchemy here? I think so. There we are. We can alchemy it up again once more, if we would like. Like I said, we could also throw some alteration down, because that's handy. So, so many useful things. Here we are. And we've already got smithing, so we've got our trade skills ready. Maybe we get some points in block. There we are. Good. That's fine. Ooh. You awaken feeling better, but still drained. Really? Still drained? Okay. Sure, I'll rest another two hours or so. Three hours, there we go. Sleeping in late. Great. It didn't account for much. 
Okay, in fact, I don't think it had an effect at all. I don't think naps work. Probably works in a similar vein to... Sk or Fallout 4 survival, right? Let's take our food here. We don't have a fence yet, but we can eat it ourselves. There we go. Get the rabbit as well. Any food is good. Salt piles galore. Carrots as well. Sack of cabbage. Petty soul gem. Death bell. Hagraven feathers. There we are. And we can take Song of the Alchemists. Here we are. Good. It's a book that I believe we have read before. Right? Apothecary's Satchel. Yoink that up. All these consumables. Worth taking. Alright. Clothes, miners' clothes. Oh, look! Clothes actually have a bit of warmth to them, don't they? 27. Huh. 54. Okay, fur armor is still gonna beat it out. Alright. Over here. Let's see now, Sven. We can just claim these, because we killed her. <laughs> That's what that means. <laughs> An inkwell, someone's skull, a fun barrel. I mean, I guess the implication is she's pretty bad because she killed someone, right? These skulls were in someone's head. <laughs> All right. Black robes. Only 27 on that. Ruined book. A spigot. Weak poison. Yunk that up. What is this? Paralysis poison. Potent one, too. Carrots. Tomates. Potates. Another poop bucket. Man, Grandma loves to shit. <laughs> it's gotta be said. <laughs> Alright. Over here. Oh, look. We can just eat some of these on the spot. We should not eat nightshade. Is that just gonna make us fall over dead instantly? Fuck it. Ooh! Ah! Okay. It wasn't too bad. Whew. Great. All right. Man, we're still not over encumbered. Look at that. We're owning it all up. Good, good, good. All right. Let's see here. Should we rest again? That way we're well rested. I think we probably should. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Hang on. What happens if we rest like an inordinate amount of time? Like, if I want it to be just, like, a few hours earlier, five hours earlier, can I do that, or is something shitty going to happen? Let's see here. Like, am I... Can I just wake up, I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm starving, because I slept for, like, 20-something hours. <laughs> Sven, I had a temporary coma. Good God. I had a very brief coma. From eating all the nightshade. Oh, look. Here we go. Get our stam up. Good. Great. Man, I forgot how quick these levels come and go. Alright. Let's see. Let's go over here to... We could get heavy armor. Maybe we should. Right? We could also pick up, like, one-handed. And we already have a point in that. Yeah. Let's see. Fighting stance. Power attacks. Dual Flurry. Nah, maybe not. Let's see. You can do a 100 power attack while sprinting that causes double crit damage. Standing power attacks do 25% bonus damage with a chance to decapitate your enemies. Huh. Backwards power attack has a 25% chance to paralyze. Hmm. Okay. How about... Block. How close are we to... Maybe we just bank this point. Right? I'm not sure. Until we can have something else. Or we could, of course, pour it into, like, smithing or whatever. That's always useful. Conjuration just as well. Bound weapons do more. Dual casting overcharges it. Huh. Can summon Atronax or raise undead for twice as far away. Just too many fucking good things, right? Here, let's go with this. Because we're going to make some potions here in a bit. Probably next time, I'm thinking. Oh, shit. 
I got a disease. And I'm a little hungry. You know what? Sleeping for 20 hours wasn't too bad. What does rock joint do? Let's see. Huh, it's not here. Huh. How do I tell what rock joint does? Powers? Weird, maybe I recovered from it? I'm drained. How can I still be drained? Maybe that's from the effect of rock joint. Weird. How do I see my diseases and shit? Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. I'd assume they would have been here. Huh. Yeah, that's so weird. I have no clue. Alright. Very strange. Well, nonetheless, let us head on over back to the Riverwood Trader and turn all this shit in real quick, right? Definitely something going on. It said we had rock joint or something. I missed it. Here, let's also equip our heavy armor. There we are. Good. And then in between videos, we can sell stuff off and all that. Right. We'll just be ready. Okay. Let's head on down here. How over-encumbered are we? Am I safe to pick this shit up? Oh, yeah. Because we leveled ourselves up a shitload. We are perfectly fine. Big fun friend. Should we kill this friend? I think so. It's free XP, baby. Free food. Oh, shit. Our friend is going to escape. There we are. All right. Whew. Heavy shit. There's also a Nern root over here. Ah, finally. That chime. There we go. We were missing that in Oblivion Land. Let's see. Anything else? Am I mistaken, or does Nern Root actually respawn in Skyrim? Right? Doesn't it? And isn't, like, the explanation because of the eruption of Red Mountain nearby? Or am I mistaken? I might be completely off base with that. <laughs> now that I think of it, I don't know. Let's see. Let's head on over here. All right. Oh, swim on over. Good. Lucan, guess what? Oh, my God. I've got the fucking super-powered shit. Me and Sven, we did it. Oh, my God. Now your sister, Camilla. Oh, you're going to love old Sven now. Look at him run. Look at him go. Sven came back, a mighty warrior, and we have delivered the fantastic treasure. Oh, what's that, Lucan? What's that? Oh my god, it's happened again! That's right, this time, it's Sven who's the object of desire. Who will win? You will Camilla tell Valerius oh, you have to tell be Lucan smitten with Sven and How have a bang you? bang time with him? Or will Lucan now? Show those thieves oh not my to god, steal Lucan, Lucan, he's now, Valerius. he looks into Sven's eyes. My god, man, you look like the man who brought back my cool <laughs> claw. I, I need to fuck you. <laughs> Now we gotta fuck! <laughs> I'll show you the Valerius secrets, baby! <laughs> Damn, Lucan! Who would have thought? Claw, what a twist! The sooner our lives can get back to normal. Alright. Fucking A. Or maybe the, just the three. Oh, no, because they're related! Definitely not the three of them! <laughs> Don't let my sister no, do anything. No, definitely foolish. not! Alright, Lucan, here, take the claw. Get it from away from me, it's falls. cursed. Did you find anything? Alright, I have the golden claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Ooh, this is where it belongs right here. <laughs> it All right. means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Hey, don't just thank, thank me. You Thanks, so Sven. so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. <laughs> it's a fine day with you around. Okay. Hey, Camilla. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Oh, my you goodness. Me. We're the only people around who aren't complete fools. <laughs> I came here from the Imperial <laughs> Province to work with my brother, Lucan. Gosh, we're friends with them, and now they don't want to shut up. Jeez. All right. Holy crap. 
job well fucking done. Goodness, I think that's everything around Riverwood, right? Unless we'd like to break into a few houses, which we might want to do next time, right? Before we leave, we might want to do that. Especially since we at least, at the very least, we have Sven's key, right? We have yet to explore his house. We should definitely do that, now that I think of it. We should definitely at least explore Sven's house. Something which I don't think I've ever fucking done. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been in his fucking house. Never, ever. Anyway, if you'd like to stick around, we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading. And what is on the docket to read today? But, of course, the thing that we put off last time. Light Armor Forging. Here we go. Light Armor Forging by Ravus Sarvani. There are two classes of light armor, metallic and non-metallic. Elven and glass are metallic light armor. You may be surprised to think that glass can be thought of as metallic, but appearances are deceiving. What we call glass is nothing like the window panes you see in houses. The greenish material is far stronger and has a much higher melting point. Non-metallic armors are hide, studded, ar studded leather, and scaled. You know what? I don't think any of the houses here in Riverwood actually have windows, now that I think of it. None of them do. For these armor types, the forger is as much tailor as blacksmith. All use large pieces of leather, stitched together with leather strips. Studded armor also needs iron ingots, from which you will make the studs and metal rings that make it more effective than simple hide. Scaled armor uses steel instead of iron, but the steel is infused with corundum to make the metal inserts stronger. For centuries, the secret of making elven armor was a closely guarded secret on Somerset Isle. Then the betrayal of Uvul Loren brought it to the rest of Tamriel. Uvul was a dark elf slave, working the bellows for Nulion, master smith of the isle from the 5th through the 7th century of the Second Era. When Uvul escaped, he could think of no greater punishment to meet to met out his to his cruel master than to reveal all of his secrets to the world. Thus we came to know that moonstone is the key ingredient in elven armor, and that salt water must be used to quench the hot metal. Oh, that makes sense because of course the main water in Somerset around because it's an island. Salt water, right? I wonder if this gets explored in ESO, because of course that takes place during the second era. Right? I wonder if you meet one of these people, or both. For gilded elven armor, you must also meld quicksilver. Meld in quicksilver. It melts at a much lower heat than moonstone, making it tricky to work the two metals together. The trickiest of all is glass. Hammer blows struck across the grain run the risk of shattering the armor. Its principal ingredient is malachite although it also requires Moonstone to give it the right strength. Huh, and that's the end. There you have it. Yeah, I remember reading this one way back when, when the old Skyrim land first came out, right? Having the wild-ass revelation that, oh my god, glass armor isn't actually just weird-ass glass. Because, of course, in prior games, it really looks very glass-like, right? Whereas in, in Skyrim, it still does, but it's a lot more reinforced-looking, right? Maybe I'm mistaken, I can't recall. Been a while, right? But it looks it looks more like a sort of crystal, I think, in Skyrim than the others. In which case, it looks more like, I don't know, like it's set a glass pane almost. All right, cool. Well, when next we come back, we will have maybe smithed up a little bit? I'm not sure. Maybe not. But we'll have definitely vendored off some of our junk to Lucan, right? Maybe not smithed, but certainly vendored. Because maybe we'll just save the smithing for... On video, right? Maybe, because it's relatively quick, right? Yeah, maybe we'll do that. All right, until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>